If you watch my video comparison on Photone versus Apogee, you'll see that this app, Photone, is capable of having only a 5% discrepancy from a $500 light meter. But there's a catch. For certain phones, you need to make a paper diffuser and not all papers are made the same. The best paper I tested was this 22 pound Staples All White and I'll admit, the process of making one of these diffusers is pretty annoying and there's really no such thing as a quick reading. So to make it easier, the company that makes the app Photone came up with this clip-on diffuser which attaches to the cell phone camera just like this. But is it accurate? Let's put it to the test. I got this Spider Farmer SE4500 in a 2x4 tent and in this video I'm going to compare the readings that I took from 15 different locations at 16 inches and 24 inches. I'm taking two sets of readings, one with the Apogee MQ500 and one with this clip-on diffuser using an iPhone 14 Pro. Now this clip needs to be placed directly on the center over the front facing camera and it's important to note that you must go to the settings and select accessory as the diffuser type. Once done, you're good to go and take your measurements. All right, so here's the light readings on the SC4500 at 24 inches, Apogee MQ500 at 15 different locations. On those same locations, we took the Photone with the new diffuser. These data sets are color coded, so the lower readings are gonna be yellow and the higher readings are gonna be red. This is just the reinforced visualization. You could see the total averages on the rows and columns over here, total, total, average of each reading. And you'll see this discrepancy is almost nothing but you can't really pay attention to that you want to see the individual discrepancies so this right here is 877 minus 885 on the new diffuser that's a discrepancy of 8 9 11 38 and so on so the true discrepancy on readings is going to be the total of all these figures in absolute amounts which means I take away the negative and that's going to be 314. You're taking that figure and dividing it into the total reading and that is going to give you a discrepancy of 2.3%. Now on the 18 inches, all the data is structured the same. Discrepancies over here, 324, 24, 58, 97. I don't know what I did there. But regardless, even with that factored in, total is 390. Take 390 into 15, 8, 7, 9. That is a 2.4 discrepancy. That is twice as more accurate as the Staples paper. So if you ask me, is the new diffuser worth it? Absolutely. It's only $24, but you gotta keep in mind that before that, you had to get a ream of Staples paper, which is 15. So you're really only paying $9 more, having the convenience of only having to clip this on instead of a mini art project. It's a no-brainer. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like, hit that bell. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And for the best tutorials on how to grow, check out my site, hwgrow.com.